Hey everybody. Somebody asked me for a walkthrough of the trailer, which I thought I did, but maybe I did it when we weren't started. So I'm just gonna do it real quick and I'll leave it posted up. So have a, sorry about that. Have an 18 inch real electric A for the soft wash. That's a half inch, 200 feet of Q spray hose, 800 PSI. This is a 12 inch reel with three quarter inch Flexilla on it. Uh, these totes are from Tractor Supply. I think this was a hundred bucks. This big one was 130. Uh, they fit great. They're bolted in. This one's got extra hose, F9 products, things like that in it. Then over here, you got the Comet P40 with the Midwest Hydro Mixer XL. I do recommend going with one inch. These are three quarter. I feel like it kind of starves it a little bit. Uh, Panhandle power supply uh, has a one inch. It's the high flow. It's like 625. So it's also a better deal with bigger flow. So we have a half inch recirc line, the water line. We don't have soap hooked up yet. We're just mixing soap into our tanks. We're always using it for everything. One inch line from here to the machine and a three quarter inch line from there to the reel. Uh, two 55 gallon tanks for SH. We can flip the switch. So the roof tank, this can pull from either tank because we wash houses with this too. Uh, 19 inch wish wash classic. These um, mounts are pretty nice. Got them on Amazon, it was like 80 bucks. They'll hold two. Uh, 225 gallon tank and we have a drain line, a two inch drain line. We don't haul water, so we like to drain it fast. Little battery box for the Predator electric start. This is the budget build 420 with the 6.8 pump on it. I know on their website, there is a discrepancy when you go to checkout, it's a 6.3. It's rated for 6.8. We got our signs from Uzi Marketing up on the side. The way we mounted those, I'll show you in a minute. We got this back sign. All these signs are like $168, so it's pretty nice. Um, but you can see we just mounted two by fours on them. Uh, we mounted two by fours to the actual ladder rack. Then in here, the plumbing kit from pressure washer products. Um, we have a, K, a ZK one unloader going to the bypass kit. So this is how we turn our soap on and off for the actual pressure washer. We really don't soap a lot with it. Um, this is 200 feet of three eighths inch one wire. Um, and we carry a big squeegee. And what do we have in here is gloves, the GP red gun. We carry you know, our little tool bag, our tips. This is the tips we normally use, the M5 uh, DS. Um, carry a turbo, gauge. I always recommend everybody has a gauge. Um, we just painted our vise. We're really slacking. We're gonna put the vise on the trailer, probably up front. Don't need it too often. We carry extra gas cans. This is a 12 volt uh, battery for the reels. It's in a group 27 Marine deep cycle. I think it was 89 bucks at Walmart. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, we have a spare tire in the truck. Maybe locked. Yeah, it's locked. So in the back of the truck, we have those drawer bins. I think they're three drawer bins. Uh, pretty handy for storing stuff. We keep our eye wash kit back there so it's easily accessible, things like that. Um, there's also a spare tire for the trailer in the back of the truck. Or, and make sure not only do you have a spare tire, but you have a jack and a tire iron. Uh, you know, it's just like that little stuff you don't think about. Uh, for plumbing it, I've talked about this before, but the real, this is just a 5 8 jump hose, a five foot hose, goes through the Hudson float valve, auto shuts off, that's an ag hose, comes back to your unloader, which is how the bypass works. Then I got a quarter inch line running to the pressure washer and a half inch line running to the P40. It's pretty simple. This took about two days to put together. Um, we just use bolt and washer to mount the tank to the floor and bullseye cleaning supply welded up these super nice uh brackets for us they're aluminum 
so they can weld aluminum and they did a great job we've had no issues also they did the entire ladder rack and the aluminum brackets and the shelves for this and the shelves for the p40 and the pressure washer all that was 750 they did it in one day and painted it it was pretty impressive um so anyway that's a quick walkthrough of the trailer um you still got the the big boy over there uh we're gonna change her i think probably next year we'll we'll keep going as we are and then we'll put a d30 on there and see how we like it since i know some guys that have run almost 900 jobs on three d30s with no issues what's up roger anyway i hope everybody has a good weekend and i'll talk to you later